house is packed. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thing up. Oh. Run up in here real quick and get me some breakfast. Man, I've been really hungry a lot lately. been thinking about something ever since what was that Thursday a good friend of mine put up a post on Facebook uh, oh and that friend is Dom Fawcett uh, his YouTube channel is Think React Lee that's the name of his uh, YouTube channel uh, you can find him on uh, you can find him on Facebook and uh, Instagram uh, Dom Fawcett D-O-M F A U S E T T E, I think. Sorry, guy, but I misspelled your name. But uh, he puts up a lot of good content. Uh, he's a motivational speaker, a leadership coach, and a lot of the stuff that he puts on his channel like resonate with me. A lot of the stuff that he talks about, like I either went through it or currently going through it. One of the posts that resonated with me, he was saying that a lot of us have an idea but we won't follow through with that idea or even start because we think we don't have all the tools that we need it has to be perfect for us to start and i was like wow you know that's 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 my motto like just get started like i've been saying that for a while now like just get started you know you may not have all of that what you want or uh, some of the stuff you think you may need but a lot of times you already have just enough to get started or you have access to just enough to get started he went on to talk about how he ended up turning his bedroom into a studio for recording content and uh, how when he would go to television studios or other people's studios he would take pictures of the equipment and try to find a cheaper version and ask a lot of questions to the people around, you know, that were putting out, you know, professional content. And, you know, he was, you know, he was soaking up all that he could and working with what he had. And, and I can relate to that because uh, even for my even with my YouTube channel even with my you know my business lawn care detailing I've done a lot with a little I started out with two push mowers a weed eater and a handheld blower when I first started on the back of my truck here um, you know as I grew I bought bigger and better equipment for instance like my YouTube channel I only work with just one camera. I had a uh, a Nikon, end up dropping a Nikon and breaking the lens, so I have to get another lens. But since then, I've been using my cell phone. And if the last maybe 30 or 40 videos or even more have been done with this cell phone that I'm doing it on right now. And I mean, I'm using a free software to edit that I've had for years. And I've been able to be creative. I've been able to be creative enough to put out excellent content with that, with that software. Although it's limited, it's not like all these other software, these professional ones. But I've been using it so long that I know how to manipulate it to make it do what I want it to do. Um, and 
it's the same thing with you guys. If you want to get into YouTube and you're not putting out, you know, you're not putting out content because you don't have the right camera or you feel like you don't have any content to put out. Trust me, if you think long and hard enough and get creative, you'll come up with something. But you'll never come up with anything if you never get started. I mean, go back to my first videos. Go back to, you can go back to my first video. My very, very first video was me putting on, uh, me changing, well, adding weed eater line in the weed eater. My first vlog video was me and my son. Go watch that first video. It's father and son lawn care. The first video that I did as a and Professional Services. And... I go back and look at that video and me me looking at it now uh, I was I had it in portrait mode I mean it wasn't all that I mean I wouldn't dare make a video like that now but that's what that's what that's the level that I that's that's the level that I was on back then uh, but over time it improved by, by watching others seeing what other people was doing getting ideas you know, taking in advice, asking for advice. And it's like over time, it's gotten better. So, you know, guys, stop waiting for everything to be perfect for you to get started. Because trust me, it'll never get perfect. And when you get started and you're, and you're well on your way, it's still gonna be things you're gonna need. Or that you're gonna want and it's still not gonna be perfect you understand what I'm saying so you know don't you know don't let don't let good years pass you by don't let your prime years pass you by because you're waiting on everything to be perfect man oh man finally made it home grab my bag Man, I'm about to smash this. Okay. Okay. Got me a nice little package here. What's this? Y'all see that? They finally sent it. Man, you know what? I think I know what this is, man. this right here oh. I sit that right there yeah I can't worry about this right now I'm finna go eat I'll let y'all know what's inside after I get done eating man yeah oh me I love Waffle House got me a nice little waffle Scrambled eggs, hash brown, sausage. Breakfast of champions, man. Oh man. Ceramic technology. All right. I mean, they got a whole, a whole book going on. Like, they're like turtle wax. Look at that. That's a poster. Okay. Turtle wax done sent me their whole 2020 line.
straight up. I'm impressed. I've never seen detail products come in packaging like this. Like the packaging is phenomenal. Like the first impression is, I mean, they 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 get ten points already just from the packaging alone. But um, what they sent me was ceramic wash and wax, ceramic wet wax, ceramic spray coating. Ceramic 3-in-1 detailer. And they also sent me ceramic polish and wax. So, what I'm going to use, because what I'm going to do is part two of this video is going to be me washing my own vehicle. And I'll be using, of course, the ceramic wash and wax. I'm going to use the ceramic uh, spray coating. I'll definitely use those two on the next wash. And I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion on how what I think it is. Because I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. And I want to see if it lives up to what everybody's been saying. So how I was actually got this sent to me is I was basically, man, uh, I checked my email one day. And a representative from Turtle Wax contacted me. He told me that he liked one of my videos and he actually put the title of the video in my in my uh in the email and uh, I actually went back and looked at the video. I can't remember which one it is now the title of it, but I actually went back and looked at the video and I was like, wow, okay, yeah, that was a good video. Like I make so many of them, I forget them, you know, sometimes. But he said he liked the video and he would like to send me some products to try out. He wanted to send me the entire Hybrid Solutions 2020 line. And I'm like, okay, send it. And so, it's here. Stay tuned for the next video. Stay tuned for part two. Thanks for everybody who subscribed to the channel in the last two months. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. But I've been seeing a big spike in my subscribers in the last two months. And I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. Uh, also, I'm at 7,000 subscribers and I want to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of April. I don't think that's hard to do, but I want to get there by the end of April. But if I don't get there, oh well, but I really want to get there and I need you guys to help me. So subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys are watching my videos and you're not subscribed. Hit that button so you will not miss any new content. I'm going to be putting out content at least twice a week. I want to do it every day and I'm going to try to do a video every day. But for sure, you're going to get two a week out of me. And yo, I appreciate you guys, man. Shouts out to the new wave. Peace.